With the Analyze Numbers or Deep Structures option in the Ordinal Analysis uh, Cross Orderings procedure, you can base the analysis on either the numbers as they appear in the data spreadsheet or on the deep structures, which is how you have the observations defined. So here we have numbers as the default. And so that's going to analyze the numbers as you see them in the data, in the data uh, spreadsheet. Now let's cancel out here and take a look what's going on. So here I have the data, the reaction times right, defined. For each value, I have a unit of observation. So a six is a six, a seven is a seven. These are true quantitative uh, values. And I have those all the way up to uh, 27 here. So each data point uh, gets its own unit of observation. So these are, again, true quantities. And I can analyze these numbers, comparing six to 12 and so forth. But let's say that I want to group the observations, the reaction times, uh, into um, two units of observation. We'll do a median split. So we can select auto generate here, and we're gonna divide the number of units uh, into two there. And so we have that, select okay. And we'll look at the distribution, and we get a median split here, as, as close as you're gonna get with 15 observations, eight in one group, and seven in the other, as we can see with the frequency histogram here. So we'll select okay. Well, actually, while I'm here, let me um, just go ahead and relabel these for a moment. So low and high reaction times there. We can update it and see it change over here. We'll select OK. And now we see the labels here. So we have the low and the high values. I can turn these labels off. And so I see the original numbers. So I want to analyze the original numbers. There they are. But I can also analyze the data in terms of these deep structures. So let's go back and just turn these off so we can see the actual numbers. I'll select analyses ordinal analysis and cross orderings. Again, the control should be higher than the experimental. Do all the pairwise comparisons there using the numbers as I see them here without the labels, without the uh, defined deep structures, and I'll select OK. And that gives us 56 classifiable pairs of observations, each experimental person paired with every other control person. Uh, and then we get uh, 49 of those match the ordinal expectation. That's about 88 so there's our PCC. And we can see here we've analyzed the numbers. That's the option that we chose. Now, let's analyze the deep structures. So instead of analyzing these numbers as actual numbers, let's analyze the deep structures. So here we would take, for example, the first experimental person who's a low and compare that person to this control who's also a low. So those are equal, so that would not match the expected ordinal pattern. Here we have the uh, first experimental person compared to the second control person. That's a low versus a high. And so that matches expectation because the low is lower than the high unit of observation. So that matches expectation. So we're going to do the same pairwise comparison, but now based on these deep structures. So we'll select analyses and ordinal analysis, cross orderings. Now we'll switch to the deep structures. And we're going to get 56 possible uh, classifiable pairs of observations there again. And now we're down to 25 of those uh, matched expectation. That's uh, about 45%, 44.64%. And we can see up here the uh, analyze deep structures uh, option was chosen. So it's up to you as a researcher whether you want to analyze the raw data as numbers. If they're true quantities, you might feel more comfortable doing that. If not, then you might want to analyze the data based on the deep structures. Or if you want to just bin uh, observations, uh, continuous uh, quantitative observations, or just uh, discrete uh, observations as well, if you want to put those into bins and then just compare the bins, again, you can do that by analyzing the deep structures. Now, before closing this video, let's go to an extreme just to make sure that we understand what's happening here. So I'm going to go back to the define orderings window and notice the range is 6 to 27. Let's say if I put all of those into one unit of observation. Okay, so now I have six to 27, all 15 individuals are in that one unit. Now what's gonna happen if I analyze the deep structures? Should get a PCC of zero because everyone is going to be the same. In fact, if I turn on my values here, there you see it. So sure enough, I go to analyses, ordinal analysis, cross orderings, analyzing the deep structures, run it. 56 possible pairs, uh, zero uh, matched expectation because every comparison is low to low. So I can't uh, match 
the ordinal pattern that I'm expecting here, the differences between the control and the experimental uh, individuals in terms of the reaction times. But again, if I go back to, here I have the labels, if I turn those off, if I go back to analyzing the numbers, nothing has changed in terms of those numbers. So I can cross the orderings, now go to the numbers, I'm going to go back to uh, the 56, then 49 out of 56, my original PCC, based on the numbers that I see in the data uh, spreadsheet. And that gives, again, that PCC of 87.5%. So again, it's up to you as the researcher which option you want to choose. Analyze the data uh, as raw numbers or analyze the deep structures that you have defined.